like I said earlier, obesity is one of the top preventable causes of death right now in the world, with roughly around 4 million people dying every single year. And according to this study, which was again produced by the World Health Organization, the number one reason, one of the number one reasons behind the obesity epidemic is actually because governments have deregulated the market. Deregulation means that you are basically giving the fox access to the hen house. So when you regulate something, that means that you set up rules. Okay, you will set up protective rules so that the population, the society, does not become susceptible to the propaganda and the very dodgy tactics of these fast food companies. Well, what we find is that, according to this report, and I've done the research, it clearly is true, that governments instead are giving them free reign. They are allowing them to do very dodgy things to brainwash people into buying their food. Because all of this stuff is based on brainwashing. It really is. It's, uh, it's something we need to be made aware of. I go into meticulous detail in the book. And I'm slightly going into it, yeah? But it's very important that we learn how to defend ourselves from these guys. Uh, because they, they just don't have our best interest in mind. And a lot of us think that we are living based on free will, but we actually are operating on unconscious emotions. That's why Ronald McDonald is a smiling clown, because it appeals to children emotionally. That's why Spider-Man on the cereal box, on this unhealthy GMO cereal, kids want that, because Spider-Man creates unconscious emotional excitement. And they found over here that governments could slow and even reverse the growing epidemic of obesity by taking measures to counter fast food consumption. As you can see at the bottom here, they also explain that this will have serious implications, uh, positive implications on diabetes, heart disease, stroke and cancer, which are killing millions of people. So they, they have been asked before to do something about, killing, uh, about things that are far more dangerous than coronavirus, but they are not taking the same actions. And so they're deregulating this industry. So this whole notion that the governments around the world are doing this for our public safety and health, it needs to be questioned based on evidence, based on historical evidence. And yeah, you can see again another scientific study. Guys, I'm not going to obviously link this stuff. You can go look it up for yourself, right? I'm just saying, because I want to help empower you, but I'm not sure to babysit you. And as you can see by the study, ban on fast food TV advertising would reverse childhood obesity trends. Just banning fast food ads. Back in the day, the cigarette companies also had ads on TV when they began to realize that this was uh, brainwashing people, brainwashing young people to smoke cigarettes. You know, some of you may remember the Flintstones cartoon from back in the day. In the Flintstones cartoon, they used to actually have the Flintstones smoking cigarettes, advertising cigarettes. The Flintstones have been brought to you by Winston, America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette. It's Tastes good like a cigarette good. And that's a subtle way to actually get towards the children. Very, very clever. And eventually enough people spoke out about it and then governments were forced to regulate it and prevent it from advertising. The same thing can happen with fast food. But they don't care. It's not about your public health. It's not about our public safety. And here's another study, processed food and this was recently, January 6th of this year. Processed foods are highly correlated with obesity epidemic in the US. And yet, yeah, also the World Health Organization says processed meat causes cancer. And yet, what, what happens, right? I don't know about where you guys are, but yeah, in South Africa, throughout this whole lockdown process, McDonald's and KFC have been open. Think about the logic behind that. You have these organizations, fast food companies, that are clearly linked to the obesity epidemic. And yet, they are allowed to sell their junk food, their poison, while everything else gets locked down, while people are in unemployment. I mean, it's, it's just, it's illogical, guys. It's antithetical to, to the appropriate course of action for people's public health. And then, of course, you also go to the shop and all these people wearing masks and they're scared shitless. But if you look in there, all the stuff that they're buying, all the processed food and shit, they're killing themselves without even knowing it. Because we are being led astray, right? That the problem that we are faced with, it's not a pandemic or an epidemic of a virus. It's a pandemic and an epidemic of ignorance. And even deeper than that, it's a pandemic and an epidemic of deception.